Hey guys, Skip here, bringing you another video. This is uh, Shogun 2, well, Total War Shogun 2, online battle. Um, it's a 2v2 on Lowlands. I am playing as the mm, Shimazu or something. And so is my ally Jamuk, who is also from 126. If you would like to join the 126, please add 126 Skipper on Steam. That will be in the video description. We're playing against Infernius, who is also Shimazu or whatever, he's also in 126. And someone else we don't know called Kenny Chivas, who's playing as one of the factions that has Fall of the Samurai in it, because he seems to bring a lot of Fall of the Samurai in it. Anyway, it's a 2v2, we didn't, I don't think we stated any rules. Uh, this is my first online battle, I, th I think I'm just going to throw that out there right now. So, our opponent is, my opponent is playing as Tossa. And so he... I'm not going to go for all the units like I usually do because I don't really have time. Um, because he doesn't have to... Well, I'll, I'll go for him now. He's got tons of US Marines. Just going to skip through this. Uh, tons of Bow Kachi. And tons of Matchlock Kachi. As well as just tons of Imperial Guard, Cavalry, and Samurai Heroes, and Yari Ki. So he's just got a ton of Cavalry, a ton of uh, ranged units. He doesn't seem to have any melee infantry. Uh, Infernius, who's in the 126th, also playing as Shimazu, as well as Mange Mook, has got tons of matchlock samurais, he's got some fire rockets, uh, Shimazu Katana Samurai, uh, Naginata Warrior Monks, um, and his general is uh, Shimazu Yoshikiro. Uh, Jamuk. Jamuk's got some European cannons. Uh, Matchlock Samurai, uh, Yari Samurai, uh, Shimazu Katana Samurai, and his general is just a general. And I have, uh, some Bo Ashigaru, some Naginata Samurai, <clears throat> a general, some Katana Cavalry, and some Shimazu Katana Samurai, as well as somewhere try and find, yeah, here I've also got the Shimazu Katana Hero. Um, now, the reason I'm to pull like this in pre table formation is I am currently just playing around with the controls, it's my first online battle on Shogun 2, I literally got the game yesterday, which is when I filmed this, sorry, not when I filmed this, when I played this, I got up early to record this, um, and yeah, so at the beginning I'm just playing around with the controls whilst Jimmy and Infernius have their little battle. And then I come around and attack my opponent. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this I think this might have the blood pack on. I'm not sure. Uh, so those of you who might not want to see the blood pack, then uh, you might not. I don't know. It's, it's really nothing. It's more like paint. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just playing around with the controls here. Maybe my guys behind you move. I might be back. Whilst right off the block, Jimmy starts firing his European cannons, as you can see. And I just, I just remember something. I got to turn off the music due to the content. Early. Okay. Continue. Yeah, Jamuk's firing his European cannons over to the Infernus Lions, as you can see, causing havoc. Infernus is just going to charge across and uh, attack Jamuk. Whilst I'm, I'm still playing around with the controls and stuff, I move behind Jamuk, and then uh, I'm able to move the back. Oh, you might not be able to see that, so I'm saying it now. Uh, my opponent, as you can see, he is trying to move up onto this big hill. So he starts to do that. The US Marines, as you can see. Uh, he keeps his general around here, and um, most of his units are starting to go up this hill. Infernius is about to cross this river, whilst being bombarded by Jamu. So, 
Yeah, and my, my opponent is very good at rushing all his cavalry into me. Like I say, I'm still playing around with the controls. I finally moved my guys back to where my spawn should be. As you can see. Show you that without the UI. It's pretty awesome. Reminds me of the last samurai. Good feel. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm I'm just sitting over there. We'll, we don't really do much at the beginning. So I'm going to show you. As you can see, it's burning some fire. I start to spread my men out. I have my archers in loose formation in front of my lines along this hill. Behind them I have all my spear units, so my katana hero, or uh, shimazu katana hero, as well as my uh, naginita samurai, or whatever they're called. Naginata. I have my general behind. I've got two units, my two, two of my katana cavalry units at the side. The other one is on the other flank here. And I'm bringing up all of my um, melee infantry, the Shimazu Katana Samurai, uh, here onto this flank. So I'm, I'm starting to kind of wrap around this hill that he seems to be encircling himself on. Uh, hmm. so I, I, despite this being my first battle, I do know the basics of Total War, so I think that helps. Um, my opponent's a six-star general, but... I think that was more from just playing random battles because the tactic to just get yourself circled on a hill isn't brilliant. I mean, whilst these units are here, um, as you can see, I'm still trying to wrap around. He could stop me. He could stop me. He could flank around the river or something. But at the moment, with Jamuk here, it doesn't look like it. So we'll we'll see what happens. As you can see, it's blood on their banners and their uh, uniforms. 
armor. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I like that. I like that DLC. <laughs> My guys haven't experienced any combat yet. Um, I, gr I gradually start to move my uh, units forward till I'm within distance to skirmish with them. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, now now that Infernix is out of the game now, because Jamuk beat him in that pretty quick battle. Well, I'm surprised because I've, I never really seem to have quick battles in any Total War game. So that was, that was quick. I was uh, surprised by the speed of that. Probably because it was just a big rush at the beginning. Where a lot less strategy involved, more relying on your best troops. So kind of the medieval two approach to it, as it were, because medieval two is a lot less strategy, a lot more uh, who has the better units. Um, is it is it just me though, or do these horses look way too big if you compare it to the riders? I mean, you know, I know the horses are meant to be big, but come on. <laughs> I don't know. It might just be me. I, I thought I thought the same with the dragoons on Empire as well. Um, then again, I don't I don't I don't see many people on horses. So I wouldn't know. <clears throat> yeah, no, nothing's really happening now. He starts to move all of his units onto the hill, uh, as you can see. And that means I'm saying to Jamuk, okay, he's he starts to move his his units up there. So I say to Jamuk. Why don't you move your units across the river and try and get on his flank and we can start surrounding him on the hill. So soon you'll see Jamut doing that. Um, I, I don't know the exact timing of things, that's why I'm just telling you things off the block here. So I'll just fast forward. <clears throat> yeah, as usual, Total War lags when fast forwarding. <laughs> I don't know why it does that, but yeah, as you can see Jamut is crossing the river now. His units. He doesn't bring all his units, he allows his general and some other units to rest. But they will come up later to one. <laughs> You probably won't see them, that's what I'm telling you. I'm starting to move my men forward. Slowly. Just because I'm, I'm, I don't want to rush in and get myself blown to pieces by their outnumbering skirmishes, so I, I slowly move my guys up so that it's only just within range of their first units. Jamuk's made it across the river now. Well, pretty much. Still has some units in there. It's easy coming up on their flanks. Let's fast forward this again with the incredibly laggy uh, fast forwarding thing in Total War, but it's still quicker than normal playing, so it's worth it. Uh, as you can, s I, I, I hope you were able to see that he's really wrapping his units round the wrong way. So where you want to wrap your units round your opponent. That's which is what he's actually allowing us to do. He's wrapping himself inwards. Whilst you would think that's a good position to, you know, defend a hill, it's really not. It's really not. Uh, basic total war strategy: never get yourself surrounded, and that's what he's doing. He's, as you can see, I mean, I suppose it's kind of hard with Jamuk on the flank, but I would have split my lines there and there uh, and taken each one individually <clears throat> because Jamuk's really depleted. But no, he, instead he, he he's, he's determined to keep this hill, and so wraps his units round, which is a bad idea. But he could still win, because he's got uh, outnumbering units, and because he went for... I, whilst I do have full of samurai, I didn't bring them, whereas he did uh, bring lots of US marines. So he could he does still have a very, very, very high chance of winning, especially with his cavalry there, because these are all damn good cavalry. He's got um, uh, generals... well... General's bodyguard calls. He's got Imperial Guard Cavalry who are able to skirmish as well as going to melee, as well as Yari Key and things like that, which are of course able to go into melee. Uh, so Jamuk got on his flank. He's wrapped around. I'm once again slowly moving my men up. <clears throat> I think we just about missed that, but I was moving my men up slightly. As you can see, ooh, so close to their uh, units. 
Uh, Jamuk has finally rested his general and his kind of bodyguard units, as it were, and he's starting to move them up. But his general there is dismantled since he was trying to wear earlier on the other side. Genkai Blade. Very long blades, as it were, but they're the Genkai Blades. He's got uh, some other units coming as well. Mm. So yeah, I'm finally moving my uh, Bow Ashigaru up to get into that skirmish phase, as well as the rest of my army. I keep my general just behind my units to, uh, you know, offer that kind of morale bonus. So, where is he? So, for the middle. Ah, uh, he's, uh, this unit, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, so now we are all in the skirmishing distance and so we start the skirmish phase. My bow Ashigaru start firing against his bow units. He's got bow Kaji. He's, so he's got uh, more expensive and better bow units. However, it, we are winning and losing varying from the units. So this unit is losing decisively, this unit is winning decisively, uh, etc. Interesting things happening now with Jamuk. He starts advancing, as you can see. And at the same time, our opponent is moving all of the yes, that's right, all of his cavalry against Jamuk. Crossing the river to attack him. Just, uh, we still got our uh, bow fight going on. Starts firing flaming arrows, and I I do retaliate the same, but I don't, I'm not sure if I'll be able to catch that. Um, so yeah, the the cavalry and Jamuk's infantry is under engagement. This is my advice. I'll show you why later. But uh, they, the cavalry tries to encircle Jamuk. Yeah. So yeah, um, I've as you can see, I started firing flaming arrows. Lord. 
he oh, thought sending his cavalry back to the realize of the enemy. his ranks. Uh, whilst he was concentrating on the which of you to be able to take out the, uh, the cavalry. I, I, I finish off the uh, fight here, pretty much. His marines are in those that kneel formation, so they can't move, they can't turn or anything, so now I've got... He sends his cavalry up, and I say, uh, That was my first ever online battle on Shogun 2. Uh, I hope to do a lot more. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, nice little victory I had there. Costly victory, but I think that was mainly on Jamuk's side because I, I still had a fair amount of units. <clears throat> I'll show you the statistics when it loads. <clears throat> So yeah, it's quite quite an interesting battle. Uh, I th I, th I don't think the fact that I won was because of my skill. I think it was mainly because common sense and my opponent lacked it. Uh, he, I think, yeah, I think it was my opponent's fault that I won because um, he was in such a stupid position, and I he lacked the common sense that I could wrap around him. Whereas I had that common sense, which allowed me to do so. Um, also the fact that Jamuk won against Infernius. If Infernius had won, I'd be facing two opponents. I probably couldn't have done that. Uh, because I'm brand new to the game. Oh, I don't know. Could I? Uh, I lost the second least of 1,244. I deployed the most, 2,560. But that means I had less upgrades. In fact, I didn't have any upgrades. I killed the second most, 1,306. Let's look at my unit statistics. The, one of my Shimazu Katana Samurai killed the most, 193 men. My Naginata Samurai lost 100, lost the most, 153 men, and that's almost a full unit. That's probably because it got mowed down by those guns. Uh, and my Shimazu Katana Samurai gained th the most experience with three uh, chevrons. So, that's, so that was uh, pretty good. I Please feel free to comment, rate, subscribe. I really hope you enjoyed this battle. Um, I will have more coming soon. I've also got Napoleon Total War Online Battle to film. My Skyrim Marathon I will continue to upload. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I shall see you next time.